Timothy. Dr. Cardona will see you now. Oh, hey, Tim. Hey, Doc. How's it going? Not too good, man. Not too good, to be honest. I'm sorry to hear that. What's been going on? Well, there's things. Things I can't get right. Things I'm embarrassed about, to say the least. I understand it can be embarrassing, but as your musical doctor, I can assure you that this is all confidential and won't leave my office. So why don't you tell me what's been going on? It's not that simple, Doc. I've tried Googling things, I've tried home remedies, I've been to the hospital countless times in and out, my wife doesn't have confidence in me anymore, my Tim? kids are starting to not believe in me, I stay Tim? up all night, I stay up all night crying, trying to figure Timothy? this out, and I just don't know- Mr. I don't Wallace! Know. I can't write melodies! Okay? I can't write them. I don't know what to do, I look for the notes, they're not there. I've done everything! All I do is get loops and loop them. I just get loops and loop them. <laughs> I'm very sorry to hear that. <laughs> what we're going to do is prescribe you some minor scales. We're going to keep you on that for two weeks. Okay. <sighs> okay. And if it's not better by then, you can come oh, back and okay, see me, okay? Doctor, oh, and you. Timothy. Yeah. It's inside of here. You just got to find it. Okay, so what's most importantly with melodies, first is you have to have your chord progression, and I'll always say this, I think it's very important to have your chord structure down. That way the music wall makes sense and it'll flow together. If you don't know how to write chord progressions, you can check out my Circle of Fifths video. It's also on my channel. It's just a way you can instantly write chord progressions just by looking at a diagram. So you should definitely check that out. All right, so I have my chord progression here, and the key of the song is G minor. So using that knowledge, we're gonna figure out what notes are gonna work in G minor to where we can just improvise on the keyboard and have fun and make have it all sound right and in key and, and right in the pocket. All right, so the formula for a G minor scale, um, the root would obviously be G because it's G minor, so we're gonna start there. So G, whole half, whole whole half whole whole so a whole step is when the keys are separated by a key so g to a is a whole step and g to g sharp is a half step so if you follow that formula root whole half whole whole half whole whole um, you can figure out the scale and so in this instance g minor sounds like this And I've noticed that the minor scales, like, you know, all the minor scales make the same melody. It's like, doon, 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 doon. And that goes for every minor scale, like even C minor. See, the tone's different, but the melody's the same. Dun, 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 dun. I sound horrible without auto-tune. That's why I put auto-tune on me. So the next thing you wanna do is memorize that, that pattern for your song. So if you're in A minor, memorize that scale real quick. This one's easy to memorize because it's all white keys, except these last two black ones right here. See, and the ones that we skip are B and E. So these patterns are very easy to memorize once you start practicing and writing your own melodies with the chord progressions you'll start to see that music becomes a little bit more easier. Now that we know the notes in G minor, we're gonna play the chord progression back and we're going to try and add a melody just using what we just learned, um, the G minor scale pattern. that melody so you can take this melody and make it a different instrument or stack it and layer it or even use it to put vocals down 
like something you're hearing in your head. So in this instance, it would be like. Dun, dun, dun. Minor scales really like lets you just hear it in your head and just jam out and improvise and just basically like you would humming like if you're just freestyling like oh, da, 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 on the beat or whatever it's the same thing translated to the keyboard it's just whether you want to go down or up like same thing with same thing with singing like, do you want to go down or up? Like, so it's it makes music super fun because it's just like whatever you hear in your head, you can translate it, knowing basic music theory, chord progressions, and minor scales. So I suggest that you um. Write a chord structure, write a chord progression, pick the key of the song, obviously, and try and come up with the melody. And just using those two things, the chord progression and the melody, try and build your whole track off that. And I guarantee you, just because you structured it so strongly with the chord progression and the melodies in the right key and everything's sounding right, the rest of the song is going to take care of itself. And um, I can't stress it enough. I'm just a very firm believer in these chords, you know what I mean? Because when I first started, I used to just throw shit at the wall. And it made sen It still made sense. It sounds good. And some people don't even know this shit and they can make music without it. But that wasn't the case for me. So I'm trying to reach out to those people who might have been in my shoes and want to know how to make better sounding music. And so... Thank you guys for watching. I hope this has been informative for you. I hope it helps out your productions. If there's anything that I missed or you guys want to go over or idea for another tutorial or a remix or what the fuck ever, a cover, please leave a comment.